Alright. It's out there. I did, you you not, did, did you not uh, interact with that? <laughs> a couple of weeks ago? Or what was it, a month ago? Two months ago? All the pro Jared shit went down? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm being left out of something that I, I don't know about. Really? Yeah. Alright, so he's pro Jared's like a game YouTuber? Oh yeah, I don't know. He was for a long time? Mm-hmm. Uh, so it turns out that he was like mad cheating on his like cosplayer hot wife just with every little slut he could find and he was sending like dick pics to fans and shit oh cool and i didn't get one you know (laughs) i didn't get one i'm offended right now i want to go on record and say how offended i am not by the fact that he's putting his heart online but you know i think if you're if you're out here sending uh you know dick pics to your fans all i have to say is you better have enough for the whole class. Yeah. If you're going to share, share with the whole class. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. Just because... I'm just saying, you better have enough for the whole class. Us over here at MGI need a little bit extra... How would you say? Accommodations. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't bring enough for the whole class. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. If not, well, maybe you should bring a little more for the class. That's fair. Yeah. I think that's fair, too. All right, so uh, we are um, getting ready to check out Devolver Digital E3 2019 conference. Um, if you've watched us, watch Devolver. It's almost like two people that are exactly the same are meeting face-to-face. Mm-hmm. It's kind of fucked up because they say a lot of fucked up stuff, and then we say a lot of fucked up stuff. It goes out, it gets out of hand. Good thing it's only about 25 minutes long. Um, yeah. Anything more than that, I think... Uh, Twitch would just straight up kick us off Mm -hmm. because, you know, we just take it a step further every time. Um, So uh, without further ado, let's get this underway. I'll have you uh, go ahead and call (coughs) that uh, countdown and we'll go on go. Go on go. Ready? We're on three, two, one, go. All right, we're going, gamer. <laughs> Hell yes. So good a recap of the last one. Yeah. This got lit up. <laughs> this would be so fun. I wonder how long they work on this. 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of blood. This is so fucking graphic. <laughs> it's real graphic. Did she say take a look? Yep. <laughs> That's what they did before their final trailer. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I love Nina. She's so good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would watch this as a show. Oh, I would too. I want to watch it all back to back. Like the cuts of the crowd too. <laughs> god damn it. They really know how to do it, don't they? Mm-hmm. The single tier was really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> the yeah. first time that we got to see it. Was it yeah. two years ago? Yeah. I want the Nina story as, like, a standalone film. Me too. E3, we need mm-hmm. to meet Nina. We ever get over there? You know what I'm saying? God, I would let Nina fucking strap up and strap on my ass. For sure. I'd take a peek. My distinct pleasure to present to you the gamers. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! Nobody else gives a shit. That's funny. It's so E3. Oh my god. I told you she's straight busted. Shut up, Margaret. Yeah, <laughs> What about twice? We even used Coppermite, like you said. Fuck! Yeah, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably her isolinear relays. Let's uh, flush her with flux and boot her with. Let's call it. Wait, what? It's been nearly a year with this shit, and she isn't working. You can't have a presser without her. She's the face. She's not working, so we scrap it. E three is important, guys. You know that, right? Look, we have to hold a press conference, or we're just a bunch of stupid nobodies like before. Why don't we just fill a whole show with live musical performances? I know the guy from. There will be no live musical performance. <laughs> E3 is a waste of our goddamn time. Just wrap this shit up and dump it in the river. Look, you can't do dump it in the a river. Glitch, a, a temporary setback. You call this a glitch? We're scheduled to go on in four, four minutes. 
Your temporary setback could cost us 50 million in SponCon payments alone. Not necessarily, sir. Perhaps you're aware of the Imagos program developed by me. Why the fuck is she noir? It's a I'm a big fan. For just this sort of thing. Does it get us a show? Not without Nina. That a newbie? Nina, no E3. <laughs> Scooby Doo Doo Doo. Frick holes. Frick holes. Let's get real. Really real. Press conferences are a thing of the past. Most companies aren't even doing them anymore. They're old, Rosen. outdated, irrelevant for the hecking birds. I've got. Something better. Oh, balls. You're not talking about your fucking video project again, are you, Linda? Sure as toots I am, Don. Sure as Emmer effing toots. <laughs> Emmer effing toots. I've been leaning on these expensive live shows for far too long. It's been like two. Putting on these huge <laughs> shows to feed the egos of frickhole marketing suits and failed, air quotes, marketing directors. Why not we take the yeah. message right to the mother loving community? Why not mainline it, you know? Why not skip the criminy, bull hockey, sons of biscuits, and go right to the public with video? Sure as sticks of video. Marketing videos so distill people overdose on purchase intent before it's even over. I'm taking <laughs> heroin up a butt levels of marketing. Well, you can't mean that. Uh, that's right, cred muffins. <laughs> Devolver. <laughs> fucking direct. Are you off your nuts? We don't have that kind of cachet, that kind of audience. Let alone our. Are you off your nuts? CEO strutting chicken all over a stage, making lofty promises no company could ever hope to keep. She's straight busted. Ooh, Listen, if we can't get her mind right for this press conference, why not we do this press conference in her mind? This is insane. I love it. E3 is here. We're out of time. Initiate Devolver Direct Protocol. Perhaps it's spit it's on spit it. On. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you gotta spit on it. We're going to that. <laughs> that was good. Fuck is this and where the shit is my adoring audience? Hello. And welcome to the first ever Devolver Direct with an amazing first ever first look at some fresh Devolver digital titles. She's gonna ram this guy right in his rectum. This year and mm -hmm. It's a fantastic Damn near video him. game year for video games this year already. And we at Devolver simply can't wait to show you what our video game developer friends have been video game developing this year in video games. Her profile is scary, huh? Year and a fantastic yes. Video game year for all the Kinda reminds me of the alien thing in Splice. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not a thing. Hey, you. What the shit am I doing here? Uh, so you basically just announced games and stuff, ma'am. It's pretty straightforward. No shit. Which ones? Well, there's a list here. Which ones first? Uh, Fall Guys from Mediatonic. It's a crazy online multiplayer thing, it says. Well, oh, yeah. socks and robot jocks and get these panties straight boppin'? I think so, ma'am. It says <laughs> super tits awesome. Shit hot. That's great. <laughs> He's still gagging. Yep. It takes a while to die from that. <laughs> this looks funny. And they go straight into this after ripping yep. a fucking grown man's throat yep. out. Fresh Wilson, RIP. It was a short career and it was a fucking painful one too. Yeah. He wasn't here for a long time. And it honestly wasn't a good time either. I mean, Screw up that. until the end it was probably alright. Finally, a fucking survival royale I can get into. It's like a mobile battle royale game. Yeah, pretty much. Is it mobile? I, I don't got a confirmation I don't think so. on that. I think it's, uh. I don't know. Let's see. P uh, PC and PS4, Fall 2020. Nice. It reminds me of, um, what was it called? It was like a, an Americanized fake, uh, like Asian game show. Mm -hmm. That was on, what, Spike TV? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That show was good. That show was funny. Damn. That was fun. Especially if they make it the right price, which is like five bucks for free. <laughs> Okay, Fall Guys looks sick. It's gonna pull in loads. I'm this dude's fucked. Rich. Why, oh, yes. Yes, I am. And who are you? Zane Stoltz, Vice President of Gray Market Distribution at Devolver Digital. <laughs> That's a thing. He is now. I used to be the Director of Strategic Job Titles, but things got hot for me after you took that hard L last year. 
Last year? What do you mean last year? What, what do you, There's what do like you... this war, okay? <laughs> a paper war that's raging between some pretty boffo industry names, all for their own little slice of an absolutely above board plain Jane distribution market. I say let them have it. We at Devolver Digital have turned our attention to what looks to be a more niche, but way more lucrative business interest. Steam, Epic, GOG, Discord, whatever. They're fighting for scraps. <laughs> <laughs> we want something else. We want to operate outside of the margins, where legality <laughs> and creative license fold into a real and viscous area under the table revenue, Literally which can increase the mill of paid Let business return. Our team Cannibalism, I don't think that's something. Is she going to unzip him? A sweet, <sighs> sweet thing that combines the massive of companies like GTA with the bottom barrel scumsuck practices of creatively bankrupt mobile conglomerates to create our own proprietary game store that gives us a space free of legal recourse from the developers that ridiculously trusted us with their intellectual property. <laughs> Introducing Devolver Bootleg. Whoa, wait, what? The world's first <laughs> official gray market game launcher that exclusively rips <laughs> off our own games. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Savvy forward thinking consumers like yourself should find their way to devolverbootleg.com, which wholly unironically forwards to a Steam page for Devolver Bootleg. From there, potential users will have the opportunity Dude, to pay a fee yeah. to download the Devolver Bootleg Launcher. Once the download is complete, users like you can select from a wide variety of off-brand versions of our most popular titles. <laughs> Feel the delight wash over you as you and your real gamer friends enjoy titles like Cat Game. Enter the Gun Dungeon, Hotline Milwaukee, <laughs> Ape Out Junior, Loot Trouser 6, and many more. I play Ape Out Junior. Devolver Bootleg Launcher. That's quality. Extremely funny. That reel always gets me hot in the bothers. For real? Like, people can give us money for this. Yep. I'll be damned. I like your style, Stoltz. If only you knew what we did. What? I know, right? Ooh. Super lit, my guy. And now, a look at our next game reveal. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, wait, why did I just say that? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did I just say that? <laughs> They're just going so hard on it. They ripped him in half. Oh my god. Big boy. Time to party. Is he? Yeah, he is. You are super early. Oh, my bad. Yeah, heck yeah, you're bad. You're supposed to come out during the Carrion segment where we announce Carrion, like as it says in the heckin' script. Oh, sorry. I have literally zero perception of time. It doesn't even exist in my dimension. Well, dumb crumpets. Wait, why in the H-E double hockey sticks did I just say dump crumpets, cheese, and rice? Holy crud. Fiddle! She's not allowed to cuss. Hey, yeah. yeah, so here's a world premiere of my game Carrion that I'm in. Okay, but seriously, this looks fucking badass. Yeah. Have you seen this one? Yeah, yeah. Ah. This looks amazing. It's like almost like uh, Inside or something. It's like a reverse horror game. Yeah. Now oh, there it is. It's like, I knew I saw that somewhere. Hell yes. Big lad. Oh my god. Yes. I want to know how you control. Yeah. I'm hoping it's, it's like, like Dad. Yeah, I'm hoping it's like a series of buttons that you have to click. Hell yes. That looks amazing. Game companies like to talk about new horizons. What's next? <laughs> That's why. 
A future full of infinite potential with innovative revenue streams waiting, ripe to be tapped. Not oh, yeah. Devolver. <laughs> no. We look back at video game history to the annals. Uh, annals? Annals of our <laughs> industry's path to recreate, Either way. monetize, and fulfill our ultimate destiny. During previous live, <laughs> outdated, wasteful, and frankly pretty dumb stupid E3 press conferences, Devolver announced our entrance into markets such as idiot cryptocurrency, cute little <laughs> miniature video game consoles for morons, and just minutes ago, a lucrative, but frankly ridiculous, game cloning market. <laughs> now, we're gonna set aside all of this future forward looking backward hog swaddle and set our sights on a market once the golden age of video games lost to time like tears in monkey flapping rain the arcade mm -hmm. market fishes fishes oh, yes. oh my god house of the gun dead House of the Gun Dead. Good man. Collaboration between Dodge Roll, Griffin Aerotech, and Devolver Digital to create an original light gun arcade cabinet based in the Enter the Gungeon universe. The Gungeon verse, if you will. And oh my. You sure will. <laughs> Is that Margaret? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually gonna exist. Enter the Gun Dead. House of the Gun Dead will be available for pre order soon with the first expected delivery of real, actual cabinets to real, actual arcades and real, actual homes around the real, actual world in early 2020. <laughs> this is real. This is actual. This is happening. Steal from your parents if you need to, and you will too. Because Enter the Gun Dead. That's cool. Legend, House of the Gun Dead is going to be absolutely in effing credible. That's probably fine, right? Oh, what? That was okay, me. What's next? That worked. What? Where am I? I'm sorry, ma'am. It's Linda for marketing. She's taking control and we're powerless to stop her. Ah, uh, this is bad. The baddest. She keeps making announcements. <laughs> <laughs> This looks like Shinobi in yep. like 1990, like three. Nah, yep. it's probably more like a 1996 game. <laughs> Callbacks. But it's like if they, <laughs> like you know, the decisions game companies make today. Yeah. That would be like what happened if like they made that decision in Shinobi in 1997. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Bruh. Picnic panic. What the toots is that? That's what I'm Oh, certainly it really fucked up. Keeps firing off announcements. Grim, this was amazing. And this fucking game right here, oh, I'll tell you is. what. I've been waiting on this one. Yeah. If you're picking it up on PC, you can actually uh, pick it up a little cheaper. I think it's like 16 something. Mm -hmm. If you play yeah, it's ready to, I believe you can preload it on uh, yeah. Steam already. Yeah, I wish they were doing that on Switch. I'm gonna be big dicking this on the Switch for sure. Mm -hmm. God damn it, this looks so fun. Yep. Yeah, they did a good job. Damn. The character looks cool, the environments look great. Controls look they, amazing. The controls look just phenomenal. Kick the head into the room. Yep. Kill the guy. So, let's go the other way. <laughs> oh, and then he rolled. Yep. Oh, fuck yeah. Just keep rolling it. Keep it rolling. Hype train. All aboard the hype train. Adrian knows what's up. Yeah, boy. <laughs> they keep showing more games. Yeah. They really set up a story, didn't they? Yes, they did. Get the 
<laughs> what was that? Up. What was that burrito? I want to know more. <laughs> oh, the single tear, though. Yep. It's powerful. <laughs> so good. You ready for that Wait, reference we that we spoke about before? Yep. We've done it. I've done it. Devolver Digital has seamlessly and perfectly transitioned into the direct marketing video model. I couldn't have done it without you. You stuck in there. A lot of questions I have right now. Like, where's everyone else? Mm hmm. A puppet they're all dead. A million I assume you're all dead. Mine. I'm in charge. I'm in control. What do you think of that, you? You bitch. Ah, oh, I can't believe she called. And with you stuck in there, you stood we can force stood. you to announce games. Then I said, anytime we want, unbound by the constraints of a yearly conference, we can push paid DLC to an unsuspecting public any time <laughs> want. Delay game releases for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> time we want directly. Nina's about to go Terminator. Mm -hmm. This is the future, Nina. This is the future's future. Damn, fucked up. Fucked up. Why would she ever do that? Based on a novel. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they wrote out this whole thing. Grim, you can take us with you. You have. He said going down the road to get a burger. I'll go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is why I was still running it. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Come with me if you want to live. Now, that was Nina, right? I don't think so. I think that was March. Oh, really? Really? What, what's yeah. that? I'm gonna Come with me if you want. Oh, yeah, you might be. <laughs> second assistant director. We don't need another one. Second, second assistant director. No, really. <laughs> Super self concerned burrito, Ian Hubert. They're spelling names wrong and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret, probably. Who puppeteers the puppeteers? Whoa. Assistant caterer, assistant to regional caterer. Look at all the violinists. <laughs> Every one of them was a uh, Russian name. That's funny. Super duper credit supervisor. That's a lot of violence. Original soundtrack available. <laughs> or is it? The song. That's funny. Even their closing thing is fake. Or is it? Or is it? Alright. Is that all she wrote? Or is there more? There's pre-pre-show stuff at the end, but... Alright, we'll go ahead and mute it oh, there. Yeah. We'll, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about... <clears throat> we'll go ahead and talk about... I mean, there's not much to talk about, to be honest. Devo, the digital... They didn't really have a lot to show off. Karen looks really good. Karen looks fantastic. That's probably... If, if See, that looks good, but so does... Um, my friend Pedro, but I've been saying my friend Pedro looks amazing for like three years. Like three years now. Yep. So it still looks amazing. Yeah, it, it continues to look good. Uh, you know, the, pretty much everything on there had a, a good charm to it, no matter what. And that's, mm -hmm. I think that's the, um, like the point of Devolver is that everything that they do kind of 
feeds back into its uh, like its own style. Like they pick up a lot of stuff, but they pick up the stuff that just is their style. Yeah. I would like to see how much stuff they pass on. Yeah, actually, that, that, that's interesting. It, it would be interesting just to see what they. Uh, what do they say? What, no what, to? Yeah, what are they not interested in? Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's pretty standard games or whatever. You know, nothing. Yeah. There's those sunglasses on that guy. Pretty official. Damn. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's not a lot. Uh, you know, not a lot to say. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys think of Devolver. Is there anything upcoming that you're stoked about? Mm. If so, you know, of course, get it on our radar. Uh, and, you know, we will more than happily talk about it. You can let us know over at facebook.com backslash Mammoth Games Inc. or Twitter at Mammoth Games Inc. Um, but I think that's a good wrap for Devolver. Short and sweet. Pretty much yep. what I wanted. Yep. Can't wait until whatever we get next year or however we're getting this next because it looks like they still want to keep doing more fun stuff. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, unless you have anything else. No. Uh, yeah, we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to take a quick lunch break. Going to come back after and do some more of the conferences. Cool. Yeah. Um, so stick around and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. But for Mammoth Games Inc., I am Night Swarm. And I'm Filter Cord. Thanks, guys.